Hello, welcome to True Original Artist. Joe Kidd here. Once again, we have a great show tonight. Um, I brought some guests with me tonight that I'm sure everyone out there will appreciate. Um, they're all high school students, and uh, it's pertaining to the talent show that the Stoughton High School had recently. And I'm sure most of you people out there have already watched most of it out there, which is on Comcast Channel 9 and Verizon, I believe it's Channel 26. So. Keep your eyes out there on SMAC and uh, make sure you get a chance to watch this. It was a great, great show. Um, we, I was surprised actually at how many people were there. The, the uh, auditorium was packed. It was full of people, great crowd, and they had so many great contestants. And uh, right now I'd like to um, bring on my guest today. And um, we have the um, high school students here along with um, Mr. Manage the uh, director of uh, the musical director um, from the most uh, Stoughton, I'm sorry, Stoughton High School music director. And um, we are all here today to talk about the show. These were the three winners from third place, second place, and first place of the talent show. So right now I'd like to introduce Mr. Mange on the end, and we have Ashley over here, and then we have Cesar, and then we have Mariah. Um, so right now I'd like to say hello to everybody. Welcome to the show, and I, I hope you guys are ready to go on television, and this might be the beginning of a big career for you in, in the future, right? So we all have expectations of that, right? Um, well, let's, I want to start first with Mr. Mensch because um, he deals with these kids every day. He knows them very well, and um, I'd like to say hello to you and um, ask you, how do you like working with all these wonderful kids and all this talent you got? Yeah, Joe, we have some amazing kids at the uh, at, at Stoughton High School. We're so proud of all of them. Uh, they frequent award winners. They uh, are are not afraid to get up in front of an audience and uh, absolutely just do their best. Uh, so it's it's really a pleasure uh, to work with all of them and to to challenge them and to see how they challenge us to be better teachers as well. Yes, and challenge themselves. That's I true. mean, I, I think that's a wonderful thing. I mean, music is so important, I think, growing up, especially in the schools uh, when you're in school, because it's a very important part of our lives. You know, we all need something. You know, it's nice to go home and not have to open a book and do some homework where you can play a little music, right? So let's start over here with Ashley. How about you? We'll go to you first. And um, now, Ashley, what instruments do you play? Um, I play the trumpet in jazz band and symphonic band, and I sing in the musical, and I kind of play the ukulele sometimes. Oh, very nice. Now, <laughs> what, can you explain a little bit for the audience out there, um, what's the difference between the symphonic band, because um, a lot of people might not understand the meaning behind that. Can you explain a little bit about that? Well, symphonic band, or concert band, it's kind of more classical music, it's more and symphonic band is the more challenging level, while jazz band is more fun, obviously, like jazz music. Mm -hmm. It's more improv and things like that. Oh, good. All right. And, um, okay, so let's go down. Let's just get a little bit of everybody for us, a little okay. quick intro. We'll go down to Cesar here. So, Cesar, what uh, grade are you in? I'm in 11th grade. Okay, so you're a junior. Yes. You got one more year yes. with him, right? Yeah, one more. <laughs> All right. Do you like Mr. Manji? He must I be do. a good guy, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, of course you're going to say that, right? Yeah. <laughs> you better, you better. But anyways, um, now I noticed at the show, because well, um, I actually, being one of the judges that night, I, I got a first-hand glimpse of everything that was going on, and I, I really, I must say, I really enjoyed it. It was a phenomenal show, and like Mr. Manage had mentioned, the talent was incredible. Um, I give these kids a lot of credit for that. So can we, um, 
find out a little bit about you. Um, what instruments do you play? Sure. Okay. So um, in the jazz band, I play the trombone, but in the marching band, I play the mellophone. And at the talent show, I was singing and I was also playing the piano. Yes. So, yes. Now, um, what's the mella? mella uh, the mellophone? Yeah. It's like, um, it's almost like a bigger trumpet. If okay. you know what a French horn is, oh, right. it's the same thing, but up. Okay, good. Good. Um, and now we'll go to Mariah a little bit. Just a little quick intro on yourself and everything. Uh, what instruments do you do? And um, So in symphonic band and in jazz band, I play the trombone. Um, and I sing in the choirs. And um, as of recently, I've been learning the piano. Um, and I also kind of play the ukulele. Like, I have one, and I can play, like, chords and some notes. Mm -hmm. But, like, it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's like... I'm gonna go with it's intermediate. You <laughs> okay, but uh, you do sing a lot, right? Yes. And um, I noticed that on the show, you have a very nice voice, by the way. And um, now, out of all that, um, what do you personally prefer to do? Like, if someone gave you um, a chance to pick one of those several things that you just mentioned, which one would you say to them? Can I just do that? Um, I would most definitely sing, sorry, Mr. Man, <laughs> sorry, um, no, but no I just... No to be sorry. <laughs> she, she wants to use her <laughs> own instrument. She has a beautiful voice. Yeah, out, of, out of all of the music ensembles, um, I'd say choirs are my favorite just because like, I've grown up singing um, and uh, my whole family sings. Um, and it's just kind of something that we all do and it kind of bonds everyone. Yeah, that's great. That's good. I'm glad to hear that because that, that is important too, you know, I, uh, when you have the family support. Um, I noticed that night, um, the, like I said before, um, the cafeteria, um, the auditorium was packed. I'm not kidding. It was jam-packed. And um, I, I saw a lot of proud parents out there, let me tell you. And um, they have every right to be. Because uh, you guys at this age, um, being uh, so talented and doing such a great job that night, I mean, really, I noticed a lot of the parents, they were, some of them had tears in their eyes when you guys were up there. So trust me, um, I, you guys should be proud of that, you know. She mentioned family, that's very important. I mean, it's always been that way to me, but I'm sure, you know, to you too, you appreciate their support, right? Um, let's go to Mr. Manj again one more time um, regarding um, time, the times where the practice times and the schedules to, you know, be involved in all these mm -hmm. activities with the music. So how do you work that there at the school? I mean, with the classes and all that, how do you work around it? Sure. Well, we have, uh, we have a schedule that allows us to put uh, two of our bands and three of our uh, choirs into the regular school day. So they're actually graded classes oh, uh, and good. the students rehearse during school uh, for those five ensembles. That's the symphonic band, the concert band, uh, symphonic choir, the treble chorale, and the concert chorus. Oh, that's awesome. So we have those five during school. Also we have this after school program which includes the marching band, uh, mainly August through October, and a little bit in November, December, and also in May. Um, and then we've got our jazz program, which is uh, the Tuesday Jazz Band, our, our most challenging group, uh, the Wednesday Jazz Band, which is the group that I direct, and then also the Jazz Combo, uh, which is a smaller group of, uh, of students playing a lot of improvised uh, jazz music. And then we've also got our jazz choir, uh, that does some some uh, choral jazz style, mm -hmm. uh, and they learn how to scat and do some of those oh, wow. some of those jazz skills as well. This is all after school. some fun stuff. Oh yes, yeah. And, and then we've got a, uh, added just a few years ago our Stokatos group, which is our a cappella group, uh, and they uh, typically are doing some sometimes their own arrangements. Wow. Uh, actually, of pop charts and, and some fun. So you really functions. let them kind of you let them kind of go a little bit, huh? Absolutely, we do. that's yeah. that's great yeah. because um, I would assume at uh, at this age and and in high school that sometimes it would be more structured to that certain course or that certain yeah. type of um, class that you yeah. would present. And you know there is a structure, but but it's you know within the structure we we give them the leeway mm -hmm. to find their own musical voice. Perfect. And that's really, really important uh, when you're a student of music, mm -hmm. you know. Exactly. You're, you're not learning, you, you, you learn many different styles, right, but right. At, at some point you have to decide what's, what's in here. Correct. And if that's, if that's, you know, 
500-year-old German corrals, then that's 500-year-old German corrals. <laughs> right. And if that's Elvis Presley, then that, that's Elvis that's Presley. That's right, that's you know? right. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you're a rocker, you're a rocker. If you're a jazz musician, you're a jazz player, you know, a contemporary, whatever it is. Very good. Now, um, let's go back to you now, Ashley, and talk a little bit about um, what are you considering moving forward now? Um, I know you're a junior, but uh, moving forward, uh, say, let's fast forward when you get out of high school ne next year. Um, is there anything in particular that you um, already have in your mindset con containing the music um, to move forward in your future along with maybe a, a career of some sort? Yeah, well, I definitely want to keep doing the arts in college and throughout if it's just extracurriculars. I'm not really planning on going to music professionally, but I'm really interested in things like music therapy and drama therapy. Mm -hmm. Just like using creative things that I really like, but getting to help people too. That's great. And you know that, um, uh, that being said, it, it helps you along through life. Um, I found myself, and I'm sure Mr. Mange can agree that um, in our lives, we all go through certain things, even if we have a career, a certain job that we go to every day from nine to five. Um, uh, I found that through life, there's always time for the music. Like I, I know that how I used to do it when I had a bad day at work or something, you know, I, I was like, I couldn't wait to get home and pick up my guitar and just play a song. And then it would be like the whole day disappeared. And you know, and does that kind of like fit in there with you? You, you get that right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have a bad day at school yeah. and you get home and you jump on the piano and you start playing the song and singing the song. 20 minutes later, you, you feel great, right? Yeah. Good, because that's, um, that's kind of a, the start of yeah. something really special with music, you know? Um, now, um, as far as um, you go, Cesar, mm -hmm. I, I noticed that night at the show you sat in with different people, uh, yes. which is very complimentary to you, actually, because Thank obviously you. they um, respect you as a, a musician and Thank a fellow you. student. Yeah. Um, you seem like a, a real nice you know, guy and everything. Thank you. Um, now, how do you feel about that? Do you, does that, you know, does that make you feel good inside yeah. when people, are, <laughs> yeah, all these people are yeah. asking you to play it, with them? Yeah, I do, I do like it. It makes me feel good that they want me to perform with them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it feels nice. And I think I mentioned that to you guys when I said my comment, um, mm -hmm. when you were singing with a couple of the girls, I think you, you sang with a couple of girls, didn't you? We were playing flute, actually. No, you did a, a duo with, um, was, it, was it? Oh, yeah, with yeah. Ashley, right. yeah. With Ashley. And um, you also did something else with uh, Mariah. Yes. So that's two already yeah. that you did. Mm -hmm. Wasn't there something else too? Yes, I was also in the flute choir. That exactly. Was. So I don't forget those things. <laughs> I, I, I remember what, what was going on and I really, um, I thought that was cool. Thank you. You know, you were jumping in on everything. You yeah. were, you know, that, that was really good. Um, it's nice to know that people appreciate your talent and your skills and, Thank you. and uh, playing. And you're a great piano player. Thank you so I, I give Thank you a lot you. of credit for that. Thank you. Um, now, do the girls all treat you um, any spe more special than some of the other boys in your classes because um, of your fellow well, musician? Well, I noticed I mean, everybody was all, all over you. Well, that we're night. all yeah. really. We're, I'm very close friends with most of those people that yeah. I perform with, so I, it's in that sense, yeah. <laughs> right. Because yeah. I noticed everybody. Oh, Cesar, Cesar. Yeah, we're so, all just really close friends. That's good. Yeah. You know, I like that. <laughs> and now, now you, Mariah, you too. You seem to be in that kind of little <laughs> click there, you know, that night, you know, you, you guys are all like in it together. And yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's nice, isn't it? You know, you're joining in there. Now, how do you feel about your future and um, what you want to do? Because you're the senior, right? Yeah. Um, now, let's fast forward to you now. Um, what's going on later? Yeah. So, um, no matter what I do, uh, music is always going to be like a major part in my life and it's always going to have a role there. Um, I'm just not ex sure exactly what role it's going to be, um, but then again, at 18 years old, who really is sure exactly what mm -hmm. they're going to do in their life? Um, so it's definitely going to be there. Um, if anything, I have always like it's always been in the back of mind that I want to be a music teacher, um, just because one time someone was asking me about music theory, um, and like I explained this really simple concept. It was just key signatures to them. But like at first they didn't get it, and then once they got it, that like aha moment, it just kind of made me really happy because I was like, wow, <laughs> I I taught this person exactly what they meant, and like this is what they needed, and that just kind of made me feel good. There you go, 
Very good. I like that. Um, now, you mentioned uh, to me earlier that um, you also had something else in mind uh, for a possible career opportunity. What was that again? Yeah, um, I also thought about being a lawyer, um, like more specifically a civil rights lawyer, just because um, that cause has always been near and dear to my heart. Um, and like even with music, you can still affect like the civil rights scene mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. Um, but that's just a more direct way to affect yeah. it, essentially. And plus get a message, a certain message across. Exactly. Uh, you know, like a lot of people use music. Um, to to um, you know get a message across to uh, the public or the people that you you know involved with. Um, now, what about uh, your family? We talked a little bit about that. Excuse me. Um, you mentioned that your family is a music yeah. musical family. Um, how about tell us a little bit about that? Like um, like your parents, who's what and who does what and who plays, who sings, you know. So um, I have six siblings. And out of those six, um, four of them have been in the music program with Mr. Mange and with me. Um, and one of them plays the flute, one of them plays the clarinet, and then my brother um, also plays the trombone and also sings. Mm. Um, and he actually went to Ithaca um, for uh, wow. music education beautiful, also. Beautiful. Um, and the reason we're all so musical is because my dad sings, um, and he's been singing since before any of us were born. Um, and that's just something that he would do. He sings in church all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just been a central part of all of our Beautiful. like childhood. So is it mostly um, the church singing that he did or did he like play in like bands, um, that kind of thing too? Or was it mostly like a church choir type thing? Or? Yeah, it was, it was mostly like church stuff. Mm -hmm. um, he really like, his favorite genre of music is generally gospel. Right. Um, and so that was like, that was his home, that's where he was comfortable. And he'd always be like sitting around and just singing or um, whenever he would practice because he'd always sing on holidays, um, he would play his music over the stereo system that we have at the house. And like at that point, all of us knew the words. So we'd <laughs> all just start singing the song and he'd, we'd all be singing together. There you go, that's wonderful. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm picturing like Christmas uh, and everything, you guys all out there like singing together, <laughs> and I, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. You guys do Christmas songs and all that the yeah. regular stuff. That's good. Um, now, Mr. Mange, let's um, talk a little bit about um, the your classes and everything. When you got how many people, how many kids do you usually have per class? I mean, roughly uh, in a class, would you say? Well, I've got a I've got probably fifty six in the symphonic band at the moment. Okay, uh, and I believe there's another seventy in the uh, in the concert band. No, are they all in the the room at the same time. They are. We're so in the you, auditorium. You, you cover fifty six kids. Oh yes, at one time. Absolutely. Wow, yes. that's fantastic. Attendance takes a long time. Kudos. Um, so explain that a little bit more so we can get an idea of um, how you how you handle all that through the day and everything. Well, I have to tell you, it's, <laughs> it's complicated because we do not have a band room that we can rehearse in. Oh. And we are so excited about the new high school that's coming uh, after next year. Yeah. Uh, because this is going to give us the opportunity for the first time um, in, in about 50 years uh, that this program will have a band room that is the size that it needs to be so that the bands can rehearse in it. Wow. Right now, we rehearse and have rehearsed for the past 50 years uh, in the auditorium at Stoughton High School, which sa sounds like a really nice thing. Mm -hmm. um, and it is in some, in some ways. Right. Uh, unfortunately, what it, what it means for us day to day is that every time we get out on that stage, we have to pull out 50 chairs and stands oh, and yeah. set them all up. And an entire percussion battery with all of the marimbas and vibraphones. Wow. This takes you know five or 10 minutes out sure. of every single class period. And then the put everything back, right? And then we have to put it back <laughs> because we share the auditorium. We, we share the auditorium with other classes. Wow. There are drama classes in there. There are choirs in there. Uh, of course, we share it with everything that comes in after school, sure. not just our stuff, but there's you know town meetings in there. And there's a, there's a lot of other things that, that we have to defer to. Uh, because we share that space with wow. the entire town. That's amazing. Um, so it's it's That's it's really complicated, amazing. but the the kids are the kids understand mm -hmm. uh, the difficulty of that logistic problem, right? Uh, and they work with us because they care about what they're doing. Right. They make sure that they've got everything together. Mm -hmm. They bring their music, their instrument. 
They're in there, they get set up. We have successful rehearsals and we get something done every wow. single day. Yeah, because I, I actually live right up the street on Cushing Street. Oh, so, yeah. um, you know, I love it because in the summertime, you, the, the big bands, are, you guys are all outside, sure. the marching, marching band, band right. everything, making noise, it's great. I love yeah. it because I, I hear it right from my house if I'm outside, you know, sitting around. Yeah. I can always hear you guys working on your new material and oh, stuff. Yeah. Oh, they're doing that now. Wow, that sounds pretty good. Oh, yeah. So, you know, you do a good job with that. I, I commend you on that. And that is a lot of work. That's a lot of work. People might not realize that because they hear the end result. That's right. Yeah. And um, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm very used to that because uh, it's the same thing. Like I always played in bands and everything growing up and everything. And it's the same type of thing because people, when they finally get to hear you and perform when you're all rehearsed and everything, they just see that part of it. Yep. They don't see the background and where all the work came in of being out there and working hard and getting the steps and, and playing at the same time, moving, singing, playing, all at the same time. So they don't, they don't see that part, they just see the end result. And sometimes they don't get that. They don't, just don't see all the work you guys put in. But it is very important for them to know that because it is a lot of work, a lot of work. And you have to love it, right? It's a passion that we have to have and if you don't have the passion, just like anything else, right? Like if you hate, hate history, you're gonna sit there not really wanting to do the history homework, right? At night at home, you'd rather go out and you know goof off with your friends or something, right? Um, all right, let's go into um, the, um, who here does a lot of writing on their own? I, I'd like to, which one of you is, does a lot of writing, you do? We both do. Yeah. You both do? Mm -hmm. Together? No. Okay, so <laughs> separately. <laughs> well, no, I mean, so you both do on your own. Yeah. Uh, so you write, you write. Now, do you um, write more lyrics and music, or music and lyrics, or what? I mean, well, what would you say? Well, I, I um, actually, like, I like arranging things for, like, big band pieces mm -hmm. or compositions like that. I don't really do traditional, like, pop songs right. with lyrics and stuff like that, but I mean, that's what she does. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so you're the pop artist. <laughs> yeah, so I like I write, I write like writing like pop songs and um, like I write piano parts and sometimes guitar parts, even though I'm not great at guitar, um, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, and also some ukulele parts to a couple of them. Um, but like, yeah, I like the, the pop, traditional pop songs. Now, do you um, sing to background tracks like the, the new pop songs that come out? Like say, for example, if a new Beyonce song comes out, do you like goof around with it at home and stuff, throw in, uh, or do karaoke or anything like that? Um, not particularly. Um, my sister wants me to start like posting videos of myself singing on YouTube. There you go, like, that's what I actually, that's what I was guaranteed to. Go ahead. I, I like kind of want to, but at the same time, like, that's, that's a lot of effort to go through to like sing and then take a video of it and then edit the video and like chances of me actually <laughs> singing the song properly the first time are not great, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's too funny. Now what about you, when you are writing those pieces, mm -hmm. so you, you're more like, um, uh, what would you call it? Um, Help me out, Mr. Manch. Composer um, or an arranger? Or, 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 no, uh, I'm talking about the orchest orchestration. 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 Yeah. That yeah. was the word. <laughs> um, so you, you're doing more of that. Yeah. So when you do that, do you help Mr. Manch arrange things like that? Do you um, work close with him as far as like <laughs> arrangements and orchestration and well, parts? Well, actually, for some of our um, after-school groups, I do arrange some of the music that we perform. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily work with Mr. Manch with it that often, uh -huh. but I do arrange some of the music we perform. Now, do you guys go to him a lot? I mean, for, for <laughs> like, I mean, I'm, I'm just asking because he's the teacher, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and sometimes I'm sure some teachers want to give you a little bit of um, extra, a, a little bit of freedom yeah. to, to kind of like express yourself, it's, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so I'm sure he's very open to yeah, that. Like, um, yeah. When you need a little help with stuff though, I mean, yeah. you, feel, uh, you all feel pretty comfortable with yeah. that, going to him with yeah. anything and mm -hmm. kind of he works with you together and maybe, you know, get everything straightened out the way you, will, you wanted to, right? Yeah. Very good. And All I'm right. Not, and I'm not the only resource that yeah. they have. Mm -hmm. You know, they've got other teachers. Mm -hmm. You've got Mr. Nicholson and Ms. Labrie are, are Okay, are I didn't know that. Directors. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and they've got another band director at the high school as well, Mr. Kerbo. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got a whole, we've, we've got a group of music teachers that, uh, that you know, our students are very comfortable 
you know, talking to those people. And, and uh, for example, Mr. Nicholson teaches music theory, uh, and that means he's very much the go-to person for someone like Cesar, who's you know studying how to arrange and how to orchestrate. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, now, do you find do you find that the kids um, they they um, how am I going to put that? Uh, what I I just kind of curious too. Do you find that the kids um, that can you tell the difference between the kids that are really passionate about it from the kids that kind of like are just there because maybe they just want to get the credit? I mean, I don't know how that would work with so many kids. That's why I brought that up yeah. because you got 56 kids in a class. Yeah. I mean, okay. not every one of them is going to have that same level of passion. Yeah, you're right about that. I mean, it, it, it's we try to be a place, and we really believe that music is for everyone. We believe that band is a place for everyone, choir is a place for everyone, and we want to make sure that there's a place in our program for every level of commitment, because we understand that not everybody's ready to be the next Mozart. Correct. But that doesn't mean that that person can't enjoy music at some level. Mm -hmm. um, so, of course, there are kids that are, you know, maybe just there. They want to they sing. They want to play an instrument. Um, perhaps the, this is not going to be their life. And that's okay. We still want them to right. play in our band. And, exactly. And we have a place for that kid and we respect their level of commitment. There you go. That's you what know? I, exactly what it's I really was, important. That's what I was gearing to. Beautiful. Um, and that's exactly what I wanted to hear. So now that we got all of this, a little bit of uh, a nice, uh, everybody's getting familiar with you um, watching this. Um, I would like to put a clip in, uh, a video clip that we have from the show. And um, once again, I, I must say it was a great show. I really have to say I was one of the judges, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, right now, it's a clip of our third place winners, which was who? Us. Um, us, us too, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very good. So here's a clip of Ashley and Cesar. Um, and why don't you tell us what song you're doing? Um, well, we sing I See the Light from the movie Tangled. Okay. Very good. So we're going to go, uh, we'll take a short pause from here and show you a clip out there.
fight. We are back here, and um, I have these great young kids here today with me, um, and also their uh, music teacher from the Stoughton High School, Mr. Mange. Um, and they all performed at the Stoughton, what did you call that? The Stoughton's Got Talent? Is that what it is? Yeah. Stoughton's uh, Sto Got uh, Talent. Stoughton Talent Showcase. Sorry. Stoughton Talent Showcase, which was at the Stoughton High School this year. Um, when was that again? I think that was in what month? It's in February, uh, Friday before February vacation. February. And um, now I just found out actually, this is, this is uh, really nice, and we're going to discuss this a little bit, that they went on a nice trip um, to, I guess, Baltimore and Washington, uh, D.C. And um, we'll, we'll let Mr. Mange explain this a little bit because um, I guess they had quite a group of students that went down there for some music clinics. So um, why don't you explain a little bit uh, what was that all about? Sure. Well, that was, uh, so this is the biggest trip we did in the past, you know, at least decade, maybe longer. Wow. We've taken trips to New York. We've even gotten down as far as uh, Philadelphia recently. Uh, but Washington, D.C. is about the furthest we've traveled in, you know, the past decade. Uh, so what we did was uh, we took four days and uh, we got on three coach buses very early <laughs> on Thursday morning. We bussed all the way down to Baltimore. Uh, had dinner at the Hard Rock Cafe there, which was very fun. Good choice. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> All kinds of cool stuff there. Um, and then from there, we went on to, uh, to Washington, D.C., which was where the, the bulk of our trip was uh, for the next three days. Uh, so in Washington, we ended up uh, visiting the United States Capitol building, took tours of that. Uh, then we went on to some Smithsonian's. So we saw the, uh, um, what was it, the American... Um, Natural History Museum. Wow, uh, which was really exciting. That was that was a cool place. Um, after that, we uh, and we had to this this piece we had to plan like well in advance because uh, it's brand new. We got a we got a chance to take the entire group to the African American Museum, uh, which just opened last year. Wow, uh, it was a big 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 deal. Brand new Smithsonian yeah. uh, right next to the Washington Monument. Uh, and it was it was incredible. I mean, it, 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 Joe, you should have you've got to go there. No because kidding. It was you go up to the top floor of this museum, uh, and in one room there, you walk in. Uh, the first thing you see is Chuck Berry's Cadillac. Oh God, no uh, way! And then you start walking around this music exhibit. You're going to run into Dizzy Gillespie's trumpet, Louis Armstrong's <laughs> trumpet, uh, trumpet, trumpet. <laughs> uh, you're going to run into MC Hammer's pants are there, the, um, the, uh, the mothership from uh, P-Funk no is, is sitting there in the back of the room. They've just got all of this incredible music paraphernalia. Oh my God. Uh, it's a, is that the same place where they had, um, like, um, uh, I, I believe it was Michael Jackson's clothes? Uh, yep, yeah, they got that too. That's the place. That's yeah, right, my yeah. daughter actually went there last year. Yeah, it's an amazing She place. mentioned that to me. Now I'm putting it together. Um, and now when you went there, you guys, how long did you stay? Yeah, we were there four years, uh, four, four years, four days. Four years? Four days. Uh, and so the second, the third day, and we were kind of telling you about this, um, we went to uh, the Catholic University uh, and had some, had some clinics that morning, the, the following morning, Saturday morning, with, uh, with some of the professors from that music school. Uh, so we had a clinic with the band, the choir, jazz band, and jazz choir. They all they all got to work with university professors. It was Gee, very exciting. That's awesome. Um, so that was an entire morning. We did some more sightseeing uh, that afternoon, and then uh, the Saturday evening we took the kids to a National Symphony Orchestra performance at the Kennedy Center, uh, which was which was really really special. Now who puts so. all this together? That's quite a that's quite a trip. We have a tour company, Suburban Tours, that works with me directly, uh -huh. uh, and and together with the music teachers, we establish an itinerary, and then we uh, we we kind of put that together. Wow. Uh, the Pops parents, parents of performing students, are very important uh, to our planning of that trip because not only are they helping us uh, move move money so we can we can collect fees and right. all that sort of thing, right. uh, but they're also helping find volunteers and they're doing a lot of the legwork for that, getting chaperones and, and things like that's that. Amazing. So that's amazing. It's a big job. That's fantastic. I mean, that's quite, you guys, uh, really, that's a privilege for you guys to have that going on. I mean, that's something else. I mean, uh, we didn't have that when we were in school. We didn't take trips like that and go see things like that. We had our regular field trips maybe to a local farm to pet the animals, you know, but, but nothing like this. This is extraordinary. Um, now, 
How about your parents? Your parents, um, did, did they go too? Some, you, did you take some of their parents too as chaperones? Yes, we did. Yeah. So how many parents like are involved in something like this? Yeah, so we had four, uh, four music teachers with us, the four high school music teachers, and then seven parents, one of whom was uh, just a designated nurse chaperone for the trip. Nice. Uh, wow. and so six more parents besides that. Gee, that's wonderful. Yeah. I think that's great. Um, now let, let's talk a little bit about um, uh, the show that, that you guys were in. Um, who organizes the show, the actual person who organizes everything? Are you the one that puts all that together and gets everything ready and prepares everything for that show? More or less. Yeah, more or I, less. I get some help from other oh, people. But right. Yeah. But you, you're the, really the coordinator, of sure, base, yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, now, do you find that um, you get a lot, of, uh, a lot of parents willing to help with that? Oh yes, and, it, and it, it's absolutely necessary. Yeah. The, the job of putting together all of the auditions mm -hmm. and having all those kids go to the, right. to the, uh, uh, just, the, the just the screening auditions initially is, is enormous. Uh, and so we have a whole core of parents that, that uh, will sit and listen to about 60 or 70 that's auditions what I was, every year. That's what I thought. Uh, I mean. it's, it's incredible. They, they sit for hours listening to auditions. Wow. Uh, and we could literally not do this without them. That's uh, phenomenal. And that's not the only parent help we have. And we have people working backstage. We have people uh, sitting with the kids while mm -hmm. they're waiting to go on. Right. Uh, kind of giving them some moral support, making mm -hmm. sure that they feel pretty good about Jeez. what they're about to do. We have parents doing admissions, they're doing concessions, yeah. they're selling stuff, uh, they're helping watch the crowd, make sure the crowd is you know, right. being respectful. Let me tell um, you, I was noticing that um, just being there, I mean, I, I know I was sitting out front, but I would turn my head and I, I would notice that how smooth everything was running. It really was. I yeah. was just totally amazed by that. I mean, for a high school, um, and a group of all kids, young kids, because I've performed in big stages, big big places, and those are professional people that, you know, they do that all the time. But to see a, a high school dealing with all you young kids and to get all those people involved, like he's saying, the, the parents, the teachers, to organize such an event like that, that runs so smooth like that, that's a, a very, very big compliment to you and all of them. Um, once again, we go back to thank you parents, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and um, you know, you guys, I know you appreciate all that. Um, okay, so I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the next clip, which is the second place winner. And um, unfortunately, um, she couldn't be here with us today, but um, her name was uh, Anna O'Reilly? Anna O'Neill. O'Neill, Anna O'Neill, and I personally, loved her um, her song. She, she was actually involved with a couple of things too, right? Wasn't she the one that worked with a couple of other people too? Like yep. you did? She right? was in one other. Didn't she play she piano or something for somebody yeah, she else? she played piano while someone danced. That's it, yeah. yeah. Um, so right now, um, this is in honor of Anna. She couldn't be here, so but we didn't forget you. So if you're out there watching, um, uh, we want to thank you for your participation in it as well, and we're going to put her on right now. So let's show that clip with Anna um, doing an original number that she wrote and produced herself, which was great. She don't 
All right, this is very exciting. Um, I'm sure you, you people at home must be enjoying now watching these kids. Uh, the talent they have uh, is amazing. I mean, at such young ages, they're really, uh, they're writing, producing songs. I mean, pff, amazing. So um, now um, we have, uh, you guys left. Mr. Mange has uh, stepped aside f um, for the rest of the, the taping. But um, now let's talk a little bit about other hobbies. Anything else that you guys like to do outside of school, you know, outside of the music uh, classes and everything else? Um, anything, Ashley, that you like to do? I mean, uh, you mentioned some drama stuff, and uh, uh, let's let's talk about keep it amongst yourselves. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, Let well, loose a little. Still in fine arts because we don't travel far, <laughs> but we're all involved in drama in some way. Me and Mariah are in the cast, and Cesar does the pit a lot of the time, so that's always fun to act and stuff with your friends. Now, what did you say Cesar does what? Um, he like plays an instrument in the pit, so for yeah. Little Shop, he played keyboard. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm behind the singing. Okay, so, th so this is like drama, like acting drama? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We do a play and a musical every year. Oh, that's nice. So um, now, have you guys been involved in this for uh, like... Every year. Every, every year. year. <laughs> yeah. Every year yeah. That's nice. Um, okay, C Cesar, how about you? Um, what, what do you enjoy the most out of all these ensembles and everything else? Um, I have to say, I do enjoy the um, ensembles that have been after school a little more than I do than the ones in school. And what are those? Let's um, yeah. <laughs> I enjoy the um, Tuesday Jazz Band, which we actually have rehearsal right after this. And um, <laughs> okay. we have um, Jazz Choir and the Acapella Group. Those are my three favorite, probably, nice. yeah. Nice. And what about you? Um, yeah, I'd have to agree with Cesar. Uh, jazz Choir and Acapella are definitely like my top favorite ones. Um, and I think after that, like, 
I really love jazz band, but I also really love symphonic band, which, uh, not symphonic <laughs> band, symphonic choir, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that is our like in-school choir, um, and it's for people that like don't have the time after school, but still really want to do chorus and still care. Um, and that's like, that's where we focus more on musicality than just singing the correct notes. Oh, right, um, right. And that's what I love about that. Not ensemble. so much perfection. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little looser, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Um, now, what about outside activities like with your friends? I mean, uh, do you guys go to like concerts? Uh, you know, like, uh, is there any specific like artists that you might like? Um, you know, and anytime, ju just jump in. <laughs> any artists? What like some of the singers that are out there today? Who who do you like? Um, well, I listen to a lot of Broadway albums, a lot of musical theater. And who's but big? Um, who's big in that right now? The name a few people. Uh, Lin Manuel Miranda. Lin Manuel Miranda, obviously with <laughs> Hamilton <laughs> and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. What else is new? Um, no. There's Dear Evan Hansen. Dear Evan Hansen's Hansen, out there. Yeah. Waitress is still out there. Oh, Sarah I love Bareilles. Waitress. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now what about the top 40 stuff? You guys into any of the new stuff that's uh, like some of your favorite stuff that maybe some artists that you kind of like yeah. listening to? Yeah, um, there's like, there's pop songs that I like, but like the way that I listen to songs like for like the, the lyrics uh, more so than like the music of it. Like I still, I still obviously listen to it for like good music, but mm -hmm. um, a big part of songs is the message that it conveys. Mm -hmm. um, and so like, Nowadays, all of the music doesn't really convey a message all the time, um, so I'm very particular on all the music that I like. Um, so, like sometimes, me and my friend KT will just be sick of all of the mainstream pop music, and mm -hmm. we'll just, you know, head on into Boston and go see the Boston Pops perform. Yeah, yeah that's, like that's that's, good. that's what we did on Halloween. Yeah. Um, everyone was out like trick or treating or at parties, and yeah. we went to go see the Boston Symphony Orchestra. Me and Alessandra <laughs> did the same thing. And you did you you too? <laughs> yeah, but we went on a different day. But we did the same thing. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but that's great. You yeah. guys are all basically along the same s yeah. same type of yeah. line. That uh, yeah. you, good. Now. Um, do you plan on like maybe later on down the road uh, doing pop stuff or anything like that? You sound like your, you know, your voice. I, I noticed that night when you were singing, you seem to have like a real powerful voice. Like, I mean, I could see you actually singing some stuff like, you know, some modern day pop. Um, I just felt that in your voice a little bit. Don't you agree? Yeah. Says yeah. She's yeah. got that like kind of umpy voice, you yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, no, I could actually hear you singing, like say, you know, like a, a, a pop tune, like one of the, you know, the newest stuff that's yeah. out there. Maybe a little Christina Aguilera, a little the bit of. The part she sang was actually Beyonce in the song. Yeah. Right. It was a duet. Um, exactly. Ed and Beyonce, and yeah. It Correct. It's pretty reminiscent of Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. She is Beyonce. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's a compliment because, of course, Beyonce's hot. Everybody loves her. Um, and her music is good. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, now, as far as the um, uh, performing out and everything like that, so basically, all of you guys are basically performing mainly with the school mm -hmm. right now. There's no one here doing any outside performers, performances um, outside of the school, right? Very yeah. rare. No, not we have no, no time. time. Yeah. <laughs> like you don't sing at your church, do you? Um, not particularly because I work uh, on Saturdays and Sundays, so I don't really have time. Okay. Um, like all of us, all of our schedules are so jam-packed yeah. with all with of the, rehearsals yeah. because like yeah. jazz choir really rehearses rare. twice a week, w a week. Um, the jazz band that Cesar and I are in re rehearses twice a week also. Yeah. Um, Ashley has drama rehearsals also oh, with us. Dang. Like there's it's so many, lot. there's like really no time to do anything else. Like our schedules are set specifically so that we can do all that we can do. Yeah. And then there's not much room for anything I else. I can tell you guys really are passionate about the music thing. Mm -hmm. Because um, for, to put all this time and effort that you just explained, um, it does take passion. Mm -hmm. I mean, honest to God, myself personally, uh, passion, music is, is definitely a passion in my life. And, um, and I think that you guys will be saying that in the future um, as life goes on with you guys. Uh, you all seem very, you know, like very sharp, very smart kids. And um, actually, music really does bring out a lot of that in, in a student. Um, I mean, if, if you're good at one thing like that, Usually, 
you tend to be good at everything else, you know, your other classes too. And am I right? I mean, yeah. how are you guys all as students in general? Yeah. I mean, Pretty good we're students. Both Me and Cesar are in AP, AP classes, classes and honors classes together. Yeah. So. And you? <laughs> See, uh, okay, so the thing with me is that um, when, I was, when I first started high school, uh, honors classes made me mad because it wasn't any harder. It was just more work. And I was like, I'm not here for this. I don't need any extra work. Like, I already have way too much stuff. So at that point, I was just like, you know what? We'll just we'll skip those. So I was I was in honors classes to begin with, and then I went back down to college just to make my life easier. Good, good. But you're still getting good grades yeah. and all that. So you're you're all good. So you seem to be all very good kids and and everything. Kudos to your parents Thank doing a good you. job with you guys. <laughs> all right, we're coming down to the um, last few minutes here of the show. Um, I really would like to uh, thank Mr. Mange. Um, he he. Really, he deserves a lot of credit, mm -hmm. I, I would think, because uh, you guys deal with him a lot more uh, than anyone. Um, but he seems like a real nice guy. Um, did he do a good job taking over for Mr. Kearns? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. very well. Yeah. Mr. Kearns actually, you know, I got one minute, yeah. Mr. Kearns <laughs> actually played in my band really? with me maybe, um, I don't even know wow. if I want to tell you this, but maybe about 30, 35 <laughs> wow. years ago, we, we, we <laughs> played amazing. together. So. It was kind of cool um, running into uh, John Kearns when yeah. I realized he was at the school. Yeah. So he's a nice guy, great musician yes. too, yeah. great bass player, mm -hmm. excellent. Um, all right, so anyways, we're, uh, we're closing up soon and we have one more performance to throw out you, at you people out there. And um, I think it, we can do that now and then I'll come back and say goodnight. But um, I really hope everyone out there is really um, enjoying this show because I, I love this. I love working with these young kids. They're just so talented and, and they just put their heart and soul into their music. And I, I really appreciate that. And I know that people out there that watch my show, I know they appreciate it also. And thanks again for all your support out there um, supporting my show. Uh, this is Joe Kidd here. I won't have much time to say goodnight. But, uh, Thank you for watching True Original Artists here at Smack, and I'd like to thank Jeff Pickett and uh, C.J. Mullen and Mike Hammond over here. They um, really support me a lot over here at the studio. They do a lot for the town of Stoughton, so kudos to Smack. Um, so we'll take this time right now to go for our last performance, which were the winners of the talent show, right? And that was Mr. Cesar and Miss Mariah. So I hope you enjoy their performance. Here's Cesar and Mariah, the winners of this year's um, high school uh, talent show, doing, what song was it? Um, it was called Perfect, uh, written by Ed Sheeran, but sung by Beyonce. Great song, I love that. Uh, he, that's a really nice song. So thank you once again, everybody out there. We'll come back and say goodbye, and I uh, hope you enjoy this performance.
shares my dreams. I hope that someday we'll share our home. I found a love to carry more than just my secrets, to carry love, to carry children of our own. We are still kids, but we're so in love, fighting. All right, I thought that was wonderful. Um, I'm very talented, uh, they were the winners. And um, I, once again, I'd like to say thank you everybody out there in uh, SMAC. And um, I just wanna mention the fact that um, you can watch the full Stoughton Talent Showcase actually on um, SMAC uh, at the Comcast Channel 6, Verizon Channel 26. And the days and times are Mondays, 7 p.m., Thursdays at 5 p.m., Fridays at 7 p.m., and Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. So once again, this is Joe Kidd, true original artist. Thank you very much, everybody, and thank you guys. And before we go, is there any other uh, performances or events that you guys can mention real quickly? Um, tell the people out there that, that, that what's coming up. Yeah. Well, the next one coming up is the Band Spring Concert, and that'll be Friday, May 11th at 7 um, and then we are also having an open mic night, which is on May 25th. So that's just everything. Okay. Um, and then there is the Spring Choral Concert. That's going to be uh, May 17th. I believe that is a Thursday or maybe it's a Wednesday. One of the days. Mm -hmm. um, and that is at 7 also. Okay. Want to say goodbye? Bye. Bye. <laughs> and thank you very much. We had a great time. Let's hear it thank out there you. for three great, talented kids. And um, Anne. We didn't forget you, Anna, okay? <laughs> God bless and goodbye. Cool. <laughs> Very good. Bye. Set me free.